The average home in California is over $800,000. And I know that can be tough for some first time home buyers looking for something more affordable. But here in Chino, you have some options, some better prices, and we're gonna check those out. The prices are just below 600,000 for like a three bedroom townhome. What I'm in right now, it's about 650,000. How nice and pretty it looks becomes a lot more expensive as you keep adding stuff on like uh, the special paint and the countertops and things like that. There's way there's able to add things on that you don't even believe. Like why is that even added on? But it's an add on. These communities have a bunch of new homes. I think they started building this out since like 2014. They keep going. Seven more communities, gonna, they're gonna be built, probably another 10,000 more homes or something like that. This part of Chino, you have some great schools, great parks, real great communities. Everything seems to be brand new. And like I said, they have some new shopping centers that are being built, some more playgrounds that are also being put in. Now this, this one right here is about 650,000, depending on when you're watching this. By the time you watch this or are interested in it, it's probably gonna be sold already because that's just how the market is right now. This one's a four bedroom, so it's probably more money, but they have some three bedrooms, two baths. I live in a one bath and me, my son and my wife, we're having issues sharing that bathroom. That's why we're starting to look ourselves for a new, for a different property, for a new house a new to us house. I'm not a big fan of these uh, new constructions and I'll show you and you're gonna see why, why not. You might be, we, you know, everyone has their own different tastes and stuff like that. So you might be interested in it or not. I don't know, depends on your taste. This particular one has three bedrooms upstairs on the third floor, one on that first level, the kitchen, living room and balcony area. That was on the second floor. So when you come in, you're walking upstairs. So you're saying like, what do they have on that first floor? Well. They have the garage, two-story garage. So they're able to pack all this and they stack them, three levels. Instead of you having like a single-story house, this is three levels so you can get more house on less land. And that's what really this place is about. It's about optimizing the amount of land. And that's with just more communities. I'm sure like 50 years ago when they were building out homes 50 years old or 70 years old, they're doing the same thing. People were probably complaining, there's not enough land on their 10,000 square foot lot. Oh, that's not enough. I need a half acre or an acre. Today, you're happy to get an eight by 10 outdoor living area for a starter home. Here's some what some of the neighbors are gonna look like. You have a nice view, see what they're doing, see what they're cooking. And if new construction is not something you're into, then definitely give me a call because I could be able to help you out and find the best home that matches what you're looking for in your budget. Feel free to send me a text message, an email, and if you're brave enough, pick up the phone. It's what I do. I help people find the best homes in their budget, in their ranges here in the Inland Empire in Southern California. What's one of these gonna run you? Monthly payment wise, down payment wise. If you put the minimum down payment, we're talking about three and a half percent, and you pay your closing costs, that's gonna be, your monthly payments are gonna come out to be about $5,800 a month. Now, I know what you're saying, why so much? How did 650,000 or 600,000 become 5,800. Well, you only put three and a half percent down as a down payment. You covered your closing costs. So you came in with about $30,000, $35,000, right? This is an example that we used with the family that was buying something similar, similar price range, similar community. Here's how it turned out. Their credit was good, really good, top notch. They put about $35,000 down. So minimum down payment, like three and a half percent plus their closing costs. They paid for their closing costs. Their interest rate, was pretty good, it was lower than what the average is now. So if you look online and you're saying, oh man, it's 7%, well, we were able to beat that. So we got them a good deal on the interest rate and their monthly payments were 5,800 bucks. So why is that? How come when you put it into your mortgage calculator, it comes out different? Well, in these communities here in the Chino Preserve, they pay extra taxes. New communities have an extra real estate tax added to it, they call it a special assessment. It's supposed to disappear after 30 years. I have yet to see a community that have it disappear on them. So just those taxes are just gonna be there. And they have an HOA. This particular one that we're in, the HOA is about 400 bucks a month. The taxes are about 2%, so it's $12,000 a year, which pushed up their monthly payment. Yeah, what do you get for all that? You get a brand new community, you have these but we're gonna go and check out these parks and pools and recreation that everyone here in this community can enjoy. That's what you're paying those $400 a month HOA fees for. So you can use these special special amenities. And yeah, I say use it as much as you can. Now, if that's not affordable to you, there's other options, right? You don't have to buy a brand new one with no land. There's older ones that we're gonna go check out that have some land, but again, there's a catch, they're older. Along with those extra fees, you also get some good schools. Now, 
greatschools.org says that these schools are pretty good. Here are the elementary school rankings. Here are the high school rankings, junior high school rankings. Check out that website. And I tell you, check out the other website as well. And more importantly, go ahead and call the school. See if you can make like a visit, check them out in person, maybe talk to some of the parents and teachers and see what really is going on. Don't just take my word for it. Don't just take a website's word for it. Really check those things out if that's what's important to you. If, you're, if you don't have any kids or you're not planning on having kids that are going to the school and you really don't care, then you can skip that, that part. But there's a lot of people out there that are really that are really focused on how the schools are going. So if you're going to buy something here and you want to know, oh, well, in 10 years when I sell it because I want to move out in 10 years, how is this going to affect me? Well, it's good information to know. If you're in a good and if you're in a community that have good schools people pay extra to be there so let's say you're not interested in some of those new construction homes and you're open to an older home like the ones behind me like the ones we see here the benefits of some of these is that why well, i think one of the biggest benefits is that there's no hoa so you don't have these extra fees uh, although you still have to maintain your own your own landscape and things like that taxes as well that's really uh that's really an extra cost that you really don't you can avoid if you buy one of these older homes and the best part is that these older homes have more land more yard space but what's the catch so these older homes are more expensive like let's say seven hundred thousand dollars seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars payment wise your monthly payments are gonna be about the same. How are they gonna be the same as those other new construction? Well, you don't have to pay those extra fees, those extra HOAs, those extra taxes. That's money that you don't have to spend towards those expenses and it goes towards your mortgage instead. And eventually your mortgage goes down to zero. Those taxes, I don't think they're going away. And these homes, if well-maintained, are good buys. Why? You got more land. If they're well-maintained, you won't have to go in and do a whole renovation. The biggest issue you're probably gonna find is deferred maintenance. Not every homeowner is staying up to date with all the maintenance that has to be done. A lot of times they say, man, I have to put in a new roof, but I'm leaving. So you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave that to the next owner, have them deal with those headaches. Because, yeah, it's a headache to do housework. I understand that. In my house, I'm always doing housework and I'm always having to figure out how to do things. Now, if you're searching online, you're probably going to see some homes that are in HOAs and have those extra taxes, but they look similar. They look older. You may want to avoid those. So that's why you got to reach out to me. I can set you up to make sure that you get detailed updates on homes that exactly match what you're looking for. It's free, no obligation. Go ahead and reach out. Just like those new communities and these older communities, you're going to find older homes. Every once in a while, someone's building a new construction they bought a plot of land and they're building a brand new house you, you find that but it, it's kind of rare here in chino i'm in close to downtown and downtown has a lot of different shops and restaurants mom and pop restaurants they do events so they close off those streets on the weekend sometimes i was driving by and they had some uh, old car show that they were doing uh, also close by is that children's museum my wife my son they went there they said they loved it a lot of different activities to do it's not free you do have to pay a few dollars here's the website here are the fees, but they have a bunch of activities. If you're like, well, what do I do in China? What do I, you know, I don't want to have to drive to the beach or to the mountains or anything like that. Well, if you have a little one, this may be something that's uh, that might interest you. Of course, you have the same thing as if you were to buy a new construction, you have all these parks and different playgrounds that they could play in. And there's always a bunch of different activities. You can always visit the Prado, which is in South Chino, and they have horseback riding. Again, extra fee, but it's still something you can do. Around here is a really cool gymnastics club. Uh, my son was in it. He's taking a break from it now, but it's in this big warehouse. Awesome gymnastics. The people there are really nice. Super affordable, in my opinion. You could take, I think right now, it's like 85 bucks for a month of classes. Uh, he would go like on the weekends. So, and it was, it was enough to keep him entertained. Tire him out, he's ready for his nap. So depending on what you're looking for, and say, hey, we're into this, we're into that. There's gotta be something here that you can be able to use and enjoy. So each type of property has its pros and cons. Like if you buy a brand new house, you're not gonna have to fix a roof for you know 20 years or something. Yeah, something may happen, you have to maintain it, stuff like that. But that water heater's new. A lot of these homes have the solar panels already installed. So if you're looking for something that's a little more green, if that's what you're into, if you think, hey, solar panels is the way, it's the future, then newer homes will have that. Older homes, the benefit is that you have more space. See, in these newer homes, everything's built close together. They figure, these builders figure, well, we have land so expensive, we're just gonna build as much as we can in the smallest space. Some people like that, a lot of people don't. They want their space, they want their privacy, things like that. So you have those choices that you have to make. Say, I don't know which one I want, what's more important to me? 
and it is more affordable than the average. Like I said, $600,000, $700,000 is below the average here in California of over $800,000. Here in Southern California, prices keep going up. So you could jump into one of these, save yourself some money, great. Traffic wise, yeah, you're gonna run into traffic if you're trying to go to Orange County or LA, almost like at any time. It's gonna take you like over an hour to get anywhere, really. Whether you buy the new one or the old one, you're, you're still running into traffic. And they continue to build. I like that. I like that they keep, that builders are still investing in this community because that helps all the residences, including myself. So they have new shopping coming up. They have new outdoor events. Uh, the neighboring towns also invest into their own community. So you get the benefit of those things as well. Now you may be saying, well, Oscar, it's 600, 700. It is cheaper, but I still can't afford that. I did a video on Rialto and what it's like to live out there and how much those homes cost, even less expensive. If you're still deciding which city to move into, I did a video on Upland and what amenities and what activities there are to do out there. Go ahead and check that one out. If you have any questions on what it is to buy a house out here, go ahead, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'm here to help you guys out. Until then, I check you out later.